lit lit. They're trying to say it's all cap bomb fur. We gonna tell it. Yeah. Yes, sir. It's your boy Snake Eye Bomb First TV checking in, man. Salute to the military and thank you for rocking with me, man. Bon First TV, we're on the road to 10K, man. And thank you to all the support. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell. And remember, we only got one rule. That's don't play with that like button. Hey, if you're part of the Bon First military, then drop bonds on that like button, man. Keep supporting the channel so we can continue to grow. And a lot of people the other day was talking about Offset and Lil Baby. The situation ain't true. It's all fabricated. It's all cap, man. Even Lil Baby said it, man. But I'm telling you, bro, your boy Snake Eyes is plugged in for real, bro. And I'm telling you that it's smoke, it's fire, and these boys do not get along, man. Trust and believe me man but you will see the truth will come out sooner or later man and you will see they already got the video to show and you can't um substantially prove that it's offset so we're not gonna put that video up you know what i'm saying or the fight that they sharing around the internet you know what i'm saying but i'm telling you man it is true man they are not getting along Lil Baby just had a number one album, 190,000 units sold the first week. He's the number one on Billboard, not number one on these charts. He on Billboard, y'all. That's a whole nother level, you know what I'm saying? So he didn't prove, you know what I'm saying? He is the king of QC, and they showing him the attention because you got to take care of the number one artist. If something didn't happen between Offset and Lil Baby, and I know, you know, we just not getting wind of it, but, you know what I'm saying, it did happened a few weeks ago i'm telling you bomb first that offset definitely got the business you know what i'm saying allegedly because he out here now showing his face off to prove you know without saying so you know when you get in a fight and they say you got washed you know what i'm saying now you're showing your face just to prove that you know what i'm saying you didn't you didn't get beat down well, why would you do that if no fight or no situation happened in the first place? You wouldn't have to prove that, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to let you see the video of him looking at the face and trying to show his face out. Y'all tell me. Uh, yeah. That just to let you know that. Look here. I'm okay, bro. I don't know what y'all hearing, bro. They, they ain't put no paws on your boy. All set. Me go. You know what I'm saying? That's what he's trying to let you know, man, what I was saying, son. He ain't speaking on it, but he's speaking on it. You did. So I'm just telling you, man, something did happen, man. These guys do not get alone, man. Listen to the Breakfast Club interview when he asked him, why ain't no QC artists on your tape? And Lil Baby tried to act like he really don't know. He said him and Quavo was in the studio, but they was working on somebody else's song. Then he asked him specifically about offset and take off bomb first you know what i'm saying and he was like oh yeah we cool you know what i'm saying i mean real quick real blunt you <laughs> real straight to the point like he don't even want to talk about that but you can definitely tell there's some animosity between the two man so we need to stop acting like something ain't happening behind the scenes at qc but uh for a business standpoint they gotta act like everything is copacetic on the up and up bomb first but you know what i'm saying behind the door it's still gonna come out man People going to talk. They're already talking bomb first. But people choose to believe what they want to believe. But I'm telling you, where there's smoke, there's fire bomb first. And they definitely smoke, man. And you're going to hear more about this, you know what I'm saying? Unless they really get a lid put on it. But you already seen the video. We can't really say if it's offset or not. You know what I'm saying on the tape, but you can definitely tell something went down, bomb first. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying. We just going on like that, but ain't no way if I ain't get the business and dude ain't put the brakes, beat the brakes off me, or you know what I'm saying, I ain't get no action. Why would I be on social media showing off my face and not saying that? Why would I do that to prove to who? You know what I'm saying to all the people that were there that that you trying to act like didn't see it. And to the people that don't know or on the fence about this situation, now they're going to say, yeah, yeah, ain't nothing happened. But a lot of people are doing just the opposite, bomb for They're saying, well, if he doing that, something definitely happened. Something definitely went down. And I'm here to tell you, bomb first, that it definitely went down. But you can believe what you want to believe, man. And on the other news, that boy Meek Mill, man, 
Meek Luther King, bro, is out here getting searched on his private jet, man. I don't know what these rappers be thinking, but I salute the Meek because he ain't riding dirty, man. He know what type of situation is uh and scrutin uh how they scrutinizing him. You know what I'm saying? They want to see him go back. You know what I'm saying? They want to see you crash out, bomb first. Well, Meek Luther King ain't about to crash out, man. They out here trying to search his private jet, man. And you know what I'm saying? He just riding clean, man, as he should be. If you're a rapper in the game, bro, and you traveling private jet, you know they already on you because you got that bad bomb first. I don't understand why people think or these rappers think that they just because they're on a private jet, they can ride dirty and it won't be searched. We done proved it over and over again, man. They is on you, man. Look at Rallo, man. R.I.P. Juice World, man. It didn't happen to Lil Wayne, man. It didn't happen to Meek Luther King, man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, man, you got to be careful as a rapper. Not only are they walking ATM to the street, some of them they feel like, you know, they walking licks so the hood going to try them. You know what I'm saying? If you get a hood money, they love you. If you don't, you a target bomb first. But you a target to the one that you don't get the money to. And then you can have people that what they call in Chicago backdoor your bomb first. You could get them money, but it ain't enough. That jealousy and envy is too much for their heart to take bomb first. What that boy boosted bad ass said. He said hypnotized by hatred, man. And that is true, man. Look at what happened to Dobie, man. R.I.P. Dobie, man. You know what I'm saying? Look what happened to um paint roll, man. The no plug situation. But I'm gonna let you see the video of Meek getting searched, man. And we're gonna finish up with the commentary and wrap this video up, man. This Bond First TV, man. We the latest channel on YouTube. How many times you gotta be searched being black, man? I be telling them, at least y'all could do is give us an explanation for being searched. Y'all already know we black, we be getting searched too much. All this shit, all our bags and shit got laid out. We just landed in Miami to pick up food and gas. Now they making us take all our bags off to go to an island. I ain't gonna lie, E-Class, we just got searched by them boys in Miami. We only stopped to get some finger licking. Here. That goes to show you, Bomb first, that, man, they ain't playing with these rappers out here, man. They would love to have found something on Meek playing, man, and lock this butt up, man. Straight up, man, or any rapper, man. So for any rapper that's got any um, type of career going, that got any type of bad, if they on a private jet, bro, do not be riding dirty because you could be the next one to be searched. Your whole career could be in jeopardy. And when you sit behind bars, you what? You losing that bag, bond first. And that's what you in the game for, man, to get out the hood and get that bag, man. So you got to move smart out here, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to be very, very smart out here. And I meet and learn from the best, man. He clicked in with Rock Nation. Jay-Z is, you know, like a big brother to me. He um, telling him the game. And even Rick Ross, man, you know what I'm saying? Rick Ross, when he said he wouldn't trust Nicky, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he you could tell they really trying to look out for Meek. Meek got a solid team in his corner, man. And they going to make sure that Meek don't crash out, man. He try to stay the course, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, the stuff that's happening between uh, Nicki Minaj and Meek and Kenneth Zoo Petty, you know what I'm saying? You know, that just little petty stuff, man, about, you know, his ex, man. But at the same time, he ain't trying to get involved with no street stuff. He ain't trying to get locked up. He ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying, crash out in no way, shape, or form, bomb first. And I got to salute Meek Mill for that, man. He trying to stay clean. He done got out of, you know, he doing the jail reform, and uh, he done got out of jail, and he doing good for himself, man. He ain't trying to go back, man. You know what I'm saying? When you on probation, long as he was, man, you got to have PTSD, man. You got to have, pro, uh, you got to just, you, you traumatize, bomb first. You know what I'm saying? Post-traumatic stress disorder, bomb first. You know what I'm saying? You traumatize. And Meek Mill just trying to uh, ride clean, man. He ain't trying to have no issues where they can violate him, trump up some new charges, and get him back in jail, bro. He been fighting for a long time, man. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to salute 
to the new subscribers of Bomb First TV, man. We got to give y'all props, man, because y'all tune in to the Little Channel on YouTube, man. And we ain't about to play with them, man. It's your boy Snake Eye, your favorite bloggers blogger man and thanks to the street for rocking with me man thanks for sending me the information thanks for validating information i can't be everywhere at uh, all times you know what i'm saying but the ones that do send me information and send me story man i appreciate it man and we're gonna keep rocking like this man we on the road to 10k man run them numbers up man and let's get it popping man it's your boy snake eyes signing out man hey do you think now that little baby and offset is having some friction, some stamina, you know, some, some animosity bomb first. And do you think that rappers are just being targeted on these private jets and they need to move smarter like your boy Meek Luther King? Man, y'all drop comments below, man. It's your boy Snake Eye signing out. Gone!